Hello everyone, and welcome to Classy Whale. The other day I was scrolling through Twitter when I discovered an interesting tweet. Apparently, the Utah Transit Authority is selling 12 of its 1970 Pullman Comet cars from its front-runner commuter rail service because they're getting old and the cost of maintaining them is kind of prohibitive. They are currently up for auction on the website tntauction.com, and I believe they will be available until the end of October. The interesting thing is, they're only going for about $100 each. So this got a lot of rail fans like myself thinking, what would it be like to buy a comic car and what would you do with it and how much would it actually cost? So here I am today to give you the back of the envelope math on how much it would actually cost to buy one of these comic cars. Spoiler alert, it's gonna be a lot more than $100. Before I get into the numbers, huge disclaimer, this is, like I said, back of the envelope math. I'm just taking figures that I pulled off the internet, I'm not taking into account taxes or um, specific fees for specific railroads or locations. I'm sure there are plenty more costs that I haven't even begun to think of. Let me know in the comments what I'm missing. Again, this is not a buyer's guide, this is purely me messing around when I should be studying for my Occupational Justice and Foundation exam. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. First of all, these cars are going for about $110, I believe, once you outbid the current um, going price, which is $100, I don't entirely know the terminology of auctions, there's then a buyer's premium, assuming you don't get outbid, of $14.30. Not that much, right? Well, then you need to move the car. I live in Pittsburgh, and the cars are in Salt Lake City. The website says that you can haul the car by Union Pacific Railroad. I don't know how much that would be, I could not find a rate for it online. But Amtrak does haul private cars. Now, they don't haul them from Salt Lake City, but we're just going to kind of ignore that for the sake of getting some numbers. It costs $4.10 per mile to haul a private car on Amtrak, taking into account the mileage on Amtrak between Salt Lake City and Pittsburgh on the California Zephyr and Capital Limited, plus the $373 changeover switching fee, whatever they call it, in Chicago. That's going to be about $7,862 to bring it to Pittsburgh. The monthly parking fee for a private rail car is $3,885 per month. So, not super cheap. So, now you want to take your car for a spin. Go see the country. Have some adventures in your own private rail car. Not so fast. First of all, you need to rehabilitate it. I went on a railroading forum and found some estimates from someone who actually owns a uh, private business car. Now, granted, his car is probably a bit older, a bit swankier, so I'm guessing rehabilitating a newer Comet car probably wouldn't cost as much, but here are some numbers I pulled off of that. A uh, new brake system, including material and piping, would be $15,000. A new waste treatment system, because the Comet Cars one is probably showing its age, is going to be about $20,000. Head-end power would be uh, $30,000. Uh, window work could be up to $17,000. Installing a new rubber diaphragm, uh, $1,500. Rewiring the interior of the car, $25,000. New water piping would be about $20,000. Paint would be about $35,000. And you'd want to do that every like five or ten years. Batteries for emergency lights, two thousand. Interior carpet, fifteen thousand. Various other interior things, up to forty thousand dollars. So a lot more than the hundred you initially spent on the car. But hey, now at least you have a rehabilitated Comet car that's been turned into your own private rolling lounge. Let's go for a trip. Let's go from Pittsburgh to Seattle. So that's going to rack up about $18,974 in haulage fees, plus a um, $373 switching fee in Chicago each way, so $746 total. Then we have to pay $193 for every night the car is parked in Seattle. Let's say we stay in Seattle for three nights and then come back to Pittsburgh. That's going to be $20,299. You can make seven and a half round trips in a roomette or 32 in coach. And keep in mind, this is a Comet car. The windows are tiny. These cars were made when small airplane style windows were somehow cool. They were never cool. They never will be cool. You would see way more of the country if you just sat in the lounge car on the super liners of the Amtrak trains you're coupling your Comet car to. So this is clearly a huge waste of money. But what if instead of converting it into a private rail car, you instead take this car and put it on static display somewhere and maybe turn it into an ice cream shop or I don't know, the possibilities are endless. Well, first of all, we still have the cost of hauling the car from Salt Lake City to Pittsburgh. That's gonna be the same no matter what we're going to do with it. 
So how much would it cost to move the car to a private piece of land? Well, according to Delta's Adventures on YouTube, who documented a similar move of a box car by truck to a private residence, this move cost about the cost of a new Harley Sportster, which is about $15,000. We then need to lay some track on our property to uh, accommodate the car. Given that laying track for like a siding or something is about $1 million per mile, if we do 85 feet of track, that's the length of the car, it would be about $16,000. Now I imagine if you DIY it or, you know, get the materials from an abandoned rail line or something like that, you'd probably be able to save a few bucks, but there's probably going to be other fees that I'm not even thinking of, so let's just say it's $16,000. There is one small problem. I live in an apartment. I pay rent. I do not own any land. So I looked up commercial zoned land in Allegheny County. I found one lot that was only about $1,500 but it already had a building on it. So the cost of demolition, um, a quote I just randomly got on the internet, is about $8 per square foot. So demolishing this building to make way for this car, or even demolishing like half of the building and then putting up a wall or something, would cost something around $35,000 if I correctly measure the square footage of the building using Google Maps. If you want to set up utilities, that would be about $20,000, according to Angie.com, and that's not even taking into account what the interior renovation would look like. That would depend wildly on what you wanted to make the car into. All in all, not including the renovation of the interior of the car, you're talking like at least $95,000 here, probably a lot more. So start saving. Or I have an idea. What do you see as a potential use of a uh, abandoned train car in the field of occupational therapy? Wow. Oh my gosh, so a lot of outpatient clinics actually have vehicles within their outpatient clinics to practice transfers and driving techniques and stuff. Um, How would you get it here? Oh, I did all the research already. I'm just wondering oh. if the department has, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 lying around to move mm -hmm. it onto the quad or something. This is why I love occupational therapists. But unfortunately, our university has better uses for their money than buying a train car. So, I guess if Something is going to be done, the money's gonna to have to come from somewhere else. Like, perhaps, if I could reach out to a whole bunch of people all at the same time and they could each give a small amount of money. Huh, I actually have a platform to do that. If each one of you 2.37k people subscribed to my channel donates 40 bucks, we can make this happen. This meaning whatever we decide to do with the car. Let me know your suggestions in the comments below. Now, if we reach out to some bigger channels, if each of Alex Davis's subscribers gives $9, or if each of RM Transit's subscribers gives about 65 cents, or each of Alan Fisher's subscribers gives about 57 cents, we could do this. What do you think we should do with our newly acquired $100 asterisk plus a lot more Utah Transit Authority Comet car? Let me know in the comments. Take care until the next one.